And welcome back on Take Action News with David Schuster, this is executive producer Daniel Marins, taking us through the second hour on Saturday, April 27. And rounding it out, we have a contentious debate ahead of us about the issue of regulation, safety, and labor standards in the developing world that we in the developed world depend on to manufacture our textiles in particular. Just this past week, there was a horrific and tragic fire at a factory in the Bangladeshi city of Savar, just outside of the capital city of Dhaka. At this point, we know that at least 300 people were killed in a factory fire where the building had already shown signs of cracks, workers were not permitted to leave, many workers expressing skepticism of the safety of the building were dismissed. Dozens are still trapped under the rubble, we believe. Unfortunately, that death count will only be rising. And of course, it comes just, I believe it's less than a month after a, a similarly large factory at factory fire in the Tazreen factory in Dhaka, where also more than, uh, more than 100 people were killed. It looks like that one is paling in comparison. Joining me now to discuss whether the United States should impose minimum or United States style safety standards for multinational corporations hiring people in these countries is Professor Eric Loomis of the University of Rhode Island. He's an expert in environmental and labor history with a forthcoming book on lumber and logger unions in, uh, in, in the Pacific Northwest. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely, thanks for having me. All right, Eric, I'm gonna be, so I, I just wanna make clear for all our viewers and listeners out there, that there was an extremely contentious debate that took place in the blogosphere, in social media this week, when Matt Iglesias essentially said, it's okay for poorer countries to have lower regulation standards, that this is part of the comparative advantage that they get, that they try to exploit to attract multinational corporations to their countries, that they can hire, that they can, they can get these jobs, that they can raise the standards of living in their countries by by essentially having these lower safety standards, by making it cheaper for multinationals to come there, and that they sh shouldn't seed that just because of this factory fire. This is a stage that other countries, that we went through at one point, and that these countries need to go through, if they're gonna eventually make themselves wealthy enough to have those safety standards. Well, there was an, out, an outcry, and, and, and you gave one of the biggest outcries to Matt Iglesias of Slate. Now, yeah, we invited he, he Matt Iglesias, I should just make clear, sorry. we invited Matt Iglesias of Slate to come here and debate Eric Loomis, we invited him to do that, and he turned it down. So Matt, if you're out there, and you still wanna come on and explain your perspective, we still invite you to do that. 